it is going to make a hard landing. It is going to crash. All right, pull up, pull up, pull up. That was genuinely hard. Now, I do love flying the Concorde here in the X-Plane Flight Simulator, mainly because this add-on is absolutely amazing. The most realistic Concorde we've ever had. Of course, I'm talking about the Concorde FXP by Kolimata. And yes, every single switch here works, which can be a little bit scary. In fact, this plane is generally quite scary to fly, especially to land. It's just hard to nail a landing on this guy, to be honest. Come on, let's... Do it nice. First of all, we have to fly at an insanely fast speed. 200 knots, easy. Otherwise, this plane with a delta wing will just stall out. I am not doing this well. All right, we've got very poor trimming going on here. All right, we're coming in for a landing, which is going to suck a lot. Here it is. Okay, maybe I deliberately made it suck a little bit more. Now, let's stop. Uh, this was absolutely fine. Yes, there's even the tail wheel here used to prevent tail strikes, but we are stopping fine. This is absolutely fine. Overheating brakes. No, tr oh, we are on fire. We are very much on fire. Yes, I like this plane. And while landing this plane might be a hard job, we do have a very sophisticated autopilot on board this one. Brakes fail. I wonder why. Yes, this plane flew for the first time in 1969, yet it could do auto landings. It could land itself. Here at airports that feature a Cat 3 approach, like John F. Kennedy Airport, runway 04 right. A plane that can fully land itself indeed. Let's have a look at that one. Once again, it is a bit of a hard job to fly and land this fast flying airplane. So I wonder how the autopilot works. It actually took quite a while for the developers to actually introduce the auto land feature. They only did that last year. And this autopilot takes a long time to get used to, you know, coming from like Airbus planes. It's quite hard for me to use. <laughs> for example, auto landings often don't really work for me. All right, so let's go and do this. Let's turn on IAS acquire, which means airspeed acquire. So we want 220 knots on the clock. Then I'm going to turn on the VR localizer. So so it follows the localizer beam of the ILS. Shut up about that, please. We're quite far away from the airport here. All we needed to do here was set up the ILS frequency 109.5 megahertz on the nav panel here. And this works well. Now we need to talk to the flight engineer and tell him to trim the airplane for descent so that we don't like die. And here we go. Here is the glide slope already. I have now kind of cheated myself up to you know, do that. And now we can turn on the landing mode and that puts on these four lights right here, which tell us about our approach. Actually tells us that we are too low. Come on airplane, I would like you to not lose that much speed. Down here is the vertical speed indicator. We're losing quite a lot of altitude here. Come on. Autopilot land. Oh, I want to see that light turn on. Now we're too high. Come on. I want those four lights to work. Yes, and they do work. And now we can turn on the auto land mode here, which works. Here we go. Auto land is working, I guess. Airplane is holding its speed. This is perfect. I don't know what it's doing now. This airplane does a lot of confusing things. I wouldn't trust this autopilot like a Airbus or an autopilot, to be honest. Okay, you are a little bit too far to the left, aren't you? But it can figure this out. I will not put my hand on the control. Auto land is on and it's activated. So I trust in you, airplane. Everything else is well set up. We've got landing gear down. We've got the nose visor down, of course, as well. So we can see stuff. Maybe we can enjoy this landing from the outside view. I wonder if this is going to work because this is kind of like, what is, what is it doing? Doing interesting things now. Not really looking like it's going to be a good landing, to be honest. Come on, auto land. Don't disappoint me. Put the airplane down. We might be a bit too high, and now you are descending quite a lot. As though you're going to crash, Concorde. Uh-oh. Come on, 1969 autopilot. Pull up. We don't want to... Shut up. We don't want to end up in, in the water. Okay. You know, I was actually... What is it saying here? DH. We are... Uh, we have messed this up. I guess it's time to um, go around. Which we can do here. Autopilot go around. What does it do now? Uh, I might not be using this properly. Okay, let's reattempt now. And just work, airplane now. You've got a very sophisticated ILS system down there. 
Okay. We've got lots of noises here, which is a bit scary. Okay. Now it's good. Now it's good. Now we're looking good. Come on, autopilot of the Concorde. You can do it. Very good. We're good on the poppy. We're looking fine. We're just very fast. Okay. Come on. Let's enjoy this landing from outside view. Am I right? Okay. 300 feet. We are looking good. Runway 04 is right in front of us. This is perfect. Okay. All right. Let's take a look. So I want you now to pull. All right. It pulls back power automatically. Yes, and lands itself better than I did. That was actually very well done, Autopilot. Nice. Very good. And it even is stopping itself. That is perfect. And it uses lots of brakes. Perfect. So this might not be the most reliable auto land ever made, but it's time to test it now. I mean, so far we haven't really experimented around with, for example, winds. So let's go ahead and add some weather to the equation. Add a wind layer. Maybe a little bit of speed there. We're using runway 04. So we want the crosswind direction right there. 16 winds of crosswind. Oh yeah, and we can feel that. Let's see if the auto land still works though. Auto land on. Let's see how this airplane deals with a slight bit of crosswind, which we can see right now. Actually, it flies quite well. It flies better than the first attempt. Beautiful. Auto land is active, I think. I can set it down here. I hope I hope it works. All right, you're doing well. You're doing well. I'm proud of you, Concorde. You're a bit, honestly, you're a bit right of center line. Let's see. Come on, let's, let's hear it. Okay, we've got this red light. Come on, I don't know what that means. This is great. And here is a landing. We're just a little bit longer this time. But there we go. Ah. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. I like how the airplane's rudder kind of fixed the crab there. That was a very hard landing, to be honest. But we managed to stop very, very well. And now the brakes are barely on fire. 60 knots of crosswind, everybody. All right, time for another round. We are flying through quite some bad weather. 21 knots of wind. Everything is well. Everything is not well. Holy mo- We are way too high, Concord. What are you doing, sir? Uh, probably messing up, actually. Come on, don't mess up. Don't mess up. Don't mess this up now. You can do it. You're Concord. You're a strong airplane. Uh, I have no idea what it's attempting to do, but it's not look- Okay, it might be a flat landing here. Yes, it is a flat landing. Look at that. Very weird approach. <laughs> but, despite 21 knots of crosswind here, this plane can pull it off. Look at that. Yeah, we even have a little bit of water contamination on the runway, but look at that. The airplane landed itself. Huh? You know, it pulled up a little bit. Th this was definitely not bad. Now we are overrunning the runway because I haven't operated the brakes. That's another story today. Look at this. All right, time to re-attempt. Now, instead of 20 knots of crosswind, let's do more. Uh, 29 knots. Okay, here is the... Runway coming up. Don't mess up, Concord. Don't mess up. You are messing. Why are you giving full power now? That seems a bit... What are you doing? What are you doing, plane? He's clearly given up on landing there. Or has he? No, he wants to continue. Okay, Concord, you are going to end up in the grass. Looks like like throwing off the crosswind really can't handle that. Very impressive, though, so far. Let's give it one more try. Maybe at... A bit easier. How about 30, two, 3, and 4? <laughs> yes. All right, Concord. You are looking actually now pretty good. Autopilot's looking pretty all right. Look at that. I mean, yes, we've got quite a lot of crosswind here indeed. Uh, okay. You do like going left of center line, sir, don't you? Uh, hello? Auto, oh, auto land failure here, it says. Okay, it's admitting. It is admitting. It doesn't like that. It doesn't. We shall try again. No problem at all. We are, uh, we can... We're, we're good. Come on. And what I think is funny is how it's really struggling. Ah, oh, what's it doing? Come on. You need to descend now, sir. Descend. Go down. It's really struggling here. It's like using the rudder quite a bit. Can you see that? Like, it's trying to stabilize it. And we can even see some wing flex on the deck. Come on, you need to pull up now. You need to pull up. You need to pull up now. Please don't mess up. Go up. Go up. Ah, this is a scary ride on the Concorde. Now, I think... We can't even fly this airplane in real life using the hand controls. Kind of a legal uh, landing here. The thing is, the auto landing system here really works well. Look at this. Okay, and now we're above the... What are you doing, airplane? Are you just going to hammer it down now? Is that kind of the mission? Is that what it's going to do? It is going to make a hard landing. It is going to crash. All right, pull up, pull up, pull up. 
That was genuinely hard. Like all auto landings, to be honest, on the Concorde. There we go. That's finally been a landing there. I mean, this is quite impressive. The Concorde Autopilot seems almost failure proof, and I'm liking that. So, this is great news. I mean, the Concorde is dead, so this is not like a real life tip, but you can use the auto landing system. But it definitely takes a while getting used to. I really do like the automated flighting systems that we have now on modern Airbus planes. So, I thank you guys so, so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters, Guns Killer, R27, James Deram, that dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishitsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New the York. You've got beautiful names.